Today we're going to look at the level devices and how to master them. The level loader and level instant device are pretty easy devices, but there's still a few things which you can learn and a few things which you should know about these devices, which are very important to create really, really cool builds. So today I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks along the way. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. So here are the only level devices that we currently have. The level instant device was which your first one, which is the main component to create basically anything in a level device. And then we have the newest one, which is the level loader device. To use anything in a level loader, we first have to create something in the level instant device. So this is basically the mothership of any level device. And both of these devices have actually fairly simple settings and you can find the settings if you basically just go along the line here so you can like basically click anywhere. Along this line, uh, you can click to get into the settings. The settings are actually super simple. Um, there's an editable state and there's a locked state. If you put it to locked, then you cannot change anything in there anymore. And obviously editable means the exact opposite. We have obviously level white, depth and height. So that means just how big and small this is going to be. So for example, if we just turn it to one, one and one, we have a very small a little grid thing, which is basically not bigger than your average box. We can also give the level instance a name, which is very important um, to make sure that we find the right one. Because if you use many of these, you can see it can get quite messy and uh, make sure that you properly name them so you find the one that you always need. And last but not least, we have only like a few channel settings here. We have the enable game start. That is obviously the most basic setting you can have. Enable on means you can see it. Enable off means it, or you can obviously not see it. And we have enable and receiving from on channels as well. We also have one which is called content collection creation. This one was used for the block 2.0. I don't think it is important anymore. It basically doesn't really mean anything unless we get a second block 2.0. I would just leave it to creative and you will not have any problem. What does this level instant device actually do? It basically allows you to copy and paste a building over and over again and edit it in this little area to make sure that you do not have to copy and paste multiple addings over and over again or that you have to change an edit if you want to change something. So for example, we make the most basic example that you can possibly make. We're just gonna create a little like house in here. We're gonna make sure that it has a, a door and we also make sure that it has a window. Now we're going to go into the device and name it something like house. Now we can check the mark and make sure that you do not use spaces or anything because if you use spaces you will be created with a numerical text only number. So now we have our instant device with this thing and we can now copy and paste this thing over and over again and have the same house over and over again. Now we can also change things inside the level instant device and it will basically change for any other instant device that has the same name as our house one. So for example, we can edit this wall here. Now we have a normal wall and on this one, the wall is also changing. If we edit the window here, you can see the window on the other side is going to change as well. What you cannot do is add other devices, such as, for example, a tree or something. You can see you cannot place it inside of here. It will not work no matter how big you make it. Devices do not work currently in this thing. Also make sure that you place everything inside of the little area that is marked here. So for example, you can see we have this area, this little box here, and you can also see that my roof is outside. That means that it also doesn't show in the other one here. So if you want to have something inside, for example, we want a new stairs in here, and um, we will also see that in the other device. Let's take a much simpler example and just place a bucket inside of here. You can see the bucket will appear in this one as well. Now, if we change this to locked, what will happen is that we first of all cannot edit or move this thing anymore. We can also not go in here and just edit something something else. Um, it will not appear in the other one. As you can see, there's nothing happening. We can put it in here, but this one is locked and it will not change the one on the other side. So now we decided that we actually want this piece in this other level instant device as well. So we all we have to do is just make this to editable again. But now you see that it doesn't immediately spawn there. That is because we have to make sure that we like kind of touch it first and kind of replace it. And now it will appear in the other one. Very simply rotate on a grid snap with this device. And that is very cool because we might want to change the direction of something without changing the direction inside of the 11 instant device. So for example, if you want to rotate it in this direction, we can see that the sign is now facing this direction, even though the other signs are facing the completely opposite direction. So this one is the newest device. And this one basically works the same way as the other one here. Um, you can find the settings if you just go along the blue line here um, and it also has a grid snap as you can see however this works a little bit different this will copy whatever is going to happen in the level instant device so for example if we go here we have like only a few settings actually even in the advanced settings tab and we can now choose a level you can see that we have a bunch of levels here and remember house is the one that we just made as you can see it automatically transforms into the size that the original one is so for example if we go here and make this one a little bigger like two two and two you can see that our little one over here is also going to change. You might ask, why do we even need this device in the first place? First of all, this device is only on grid snap, so you can only use it in grids. 
this one can be used off grid and even use multiple rotations at once. So as you can see, we can pick this up and if we now go in off grid, we can go and make this completely free. So we can just use it like that. You cannot do this in this device. You can see it is only on grid snap. It, on it only snaps to grids and we can only rotate it like this. We cannot even like flip it in other directions. So how you can basically see this is you basically create something in this device, leave it somewhere off the map and then you basically do anything else in this device over here. Also another huge benefit of the level loader is that you can actually use multiple level loaders inside of each other. You cannot do that with the level instant device. So if you try to go over here and try to place this inside of here, you can see you cannot place this. However, if we quickly load our gas sign, which is called house for some weird reason, um, you can see that we can just use this and place it inside of each other like this. And we can even rotate it and place it like this. And there is no problems. Another huge benefit of using the level loader instead of the level instant device is that you can now place devices inside of here. For example, we want to use a button to make one of these disappear. So for example, like that, we can place the button easy inside of here. You can see we cannot do it in here. Okay, so now let's actually do that and make one of these disappear. We're gonna go into a button, make sure that it just has one setting. So for example, channel one um, on activating and then we're gonna go on this level instant device and also make disable on channel one. And now if we start the game, you can see that all three of our gas signs are here, but we can go inside of here and make the one disappear. We could also add more channels and make all of these disappear as well. So let's see how we can create a very basic combination where we basically have a main house and then a tower which we want to add to this house while clicking a button. Okay, so all you have to do for this is basically first of all create a main house on a level instant device and then you also create something that you want to add to this house. For example, I created another tower. Now we're gonna go into our creative settings and gonna pick out the level loader device. So now we're gonna go into the level loader and choose our main house first. So we're gonna place on the main house, click on it, make sure it's selected and, and now we spawn the main house. So now we can also put these two which are in the level instant device somewhere on the map where nobody will see them so we can basically hide them very nicely. So somewhere like here. Okay, so now all we have to do is copy this level loader device, make sure that we're gonna place it somewhere else. First of all, go in here, make sure that we find our tower. So our tower is right here. And now we can add the tower to our building. We can put it maybe on top of this tower or maybe on the side. So in my case, I'm just gonna put it here and the tower stands down. It looks a little bit weird, obviously. It's... Actually, let's put it behind here so it doesn't look that weird. And now if you would start the game, everything would spawn like this. And that is not really the purpose that we really want to do here. We want to actually enable it later on. So we want to go into our settings here and make sure that it's disabled from game start. And we're gonna give it also a few settings. For example, we can enable it on channel one again. We can see that in the background, the tower already despawned. And if we start the game, we will actually not see the tower. That is because we obviously disabled it from game start. Now we just need to find something where we can make the tower appear. So the simplest option would obviously be using the button again to just make sure that it's enabled as soon as we press the button. But I think that's a little bit boring. So in our case, we're gonna use the conditional button. So first of all, we need something that the conditional button can detect. Since we're building a tower, we want to use bricks. So in my case, we're gonna just use the normal stones that you can also use for building BR. Gonna put them in here and now we have the bricks enabled. But we do not only want to use one brick, we want to use, let's say, we can exactly use 500. So we need 500 bricks now to build this tower. We can also add an interaction text, for example, build tower. And for the missing items text, for example, if we do not have enough stone, we can just write down not enough stone. Now I only want to see, now I only want to see the hologram because I think it just looks better. Um, we use the button interaction carrier, there's nothing too special here. Then we basically only need one channel, which is the when activated transmit on channel one. Since we made the tower appear on channel one. So now we can, for example, place it in this location close to the tower. And now if we start the game, so now we can walk up to this and it says not enough stone. So, um, well, we basically just need stone. Oh, wow. Thankfully, some stone has randomly appeared here. And now we can build the tower. And as you can see, the tower spawns and we build the tower. You can obviously make this like super advanced. You can stack as many levelers inside and create like crazy cool things with it. For example, what I did here is I made creative mode basically in Fortnite creative playable. So you can see we are not in creative mode right now. We are like playing the game right now and we can place down items. You can see there's like little animations and stuff. We can place stone here. We can place another stone plate here, but I'm actually not a big fan of the stone. So we're gonna change this to actually grass. So now we actually place the grass here, place one here. Um, we maybe also want to place some walls. So we're gonna place a wall here. Oh, we do not have enough stone. Now, same thing as the other one. Thankfully we have some stone here. Now we can build this wall as well. I also, I'm also not a big fan of the stone wall here, so we can change it up and use a wood wall here. 
that is just the beginning of what you can create with this device. There's so much potential in this device and I just got <laughs> and I just got creative playtime. Yay! And as you can see, this is what it looks like. I basically place a bunch of like level loaders inside of each other. So for example, this one is a stone one, there's a normal grass one. Then we have like the normal wood ones and like a bunch of buttons and a bunch of mechanics. Um, obviously that is a little bit more of an advanced stuff, but uh, you can see how much stuff you can actually create with this level loader and the level instant device in combination, uh, which is really cool. And, and obviously these are the single pieces that I use in the level instant device here. Um, this is like super basic actually. This is like not the, the most advanced you can pro possibly go, but you can see what kind of potential this actually has and how simple this device is due to its like low amount of settings that you can have in here. Like this is actually a fairly simple device, but what you can do with it is kind of insane. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you learned something today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and uh, I will see you guys back in the next one. Bye.